Alright everybody, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, I'm going to go over how to set your overclocks in G Miner and how to mine Aeon. And the reason I'm doing this is because of the Aeon Poker Tournament coming up. Now, I want to be very clear, you can participate in the Aeon Poker Tournament. However, you do not need any Aeon to participate. It is free to participate. I, however, became interested in Aeon as I started researching and looking more about the Aeon Poker Tournament. So, the Poker Tournament is this Saturday. It is on um, 7, July 10th, 7, 10 of 21, at about noon my time, I believe it is. Now, if you want more information, you should definitely hit up um, Doge Lord or a bunch of these other guys. Uh, Red Panda Mining in their discords and you can find information about this um, The guy that's actually running this is Yashnik. So we really appreciate you Yashnik. Thank you very much And now I'm gonna get into this so um, The first thing I wanted to do is figure out what pools that I could use to mine Aeon so I went to mining pool stats dot stream and I searched right here on the left hand side it's kind of cut off on my screen but if I type in here Aeon it will pull up this pool right or this pool list right here um, and the first thing that I noticed is wooly pulley well actually I did notice two things first of all look at how much hash rate is on this first pool so um, it has way more than 50 percent and then I also noticed that wooly pulley is one of my favorite pools personally I was turned on to it by Red Panda and since then I've liked it and I noticed this right here so I'm gonna click on Wooly Pulley and we're gonna head over here now on this page this is where you would track your miner you can enter your address here however I'm gonna click back here again and I'm gonna to go to the main woollypulley.com slash en page and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click this connection button and what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to get there so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose if I'm gonna do um, pool mining or solo mining so this pool is PPLNS that is something for another video if you guys are interested I am gonna do PPLNS which is a pool mining which means me and a bunch of other miners are gonna get together and look for the answers together and then we share the profits so I'm gonna do that I am then gonna select my region thank you for the help I don't need it uh, select my region I'm gonna go auto geo which means it's gonna auto geographically locate me so I'm gonna do that I'm going to select my miner and I'm going to click G minor, which is what we talked about in the beginning. And that is because G minor actually offers some overclocks, and I'll get into that in just a second. So, the last thing I'm going to need here uh, this is an it's easy setup thing for Wooly Pulley. So, I'm, the last thing I'm going to need here is my Aeon address. And so, I did have some issues. I was using Free Wallet, and Free Wallet address. It says it's an Aeon address, but it does not work. The pools would not communicate when I first tried to make this video. So I actually had to go to Trust Wallet. So let me go into my Trust Wallet address here. Just give me one second. And there we go. Okay, so there's my Trust Wallet address. I had to download the app on my phone. And then I got that Aeon address and that's it I pasted it in there and now we're gonna do a 3060 because that's the card I'm mining with and now you'll notice that I have this that I can copy and it gave me a link of where to download G minor so I'm gonna click on this actually I'm gonna open it in a new tab there we go and now this is what I was talking about so this is the newest version 2.5.9 or somewhere so I'm sorry 2.59 and then if I scroll down here, I believe it's version 2.55. Yes, right here. 2.55, they updated it on June 4th to add locking core clock feature for NVIDIA GPUs under Windows and Linux. And now the interesting thing about this too is the most recent update on this miner it is added compatibility with Windows 11. So this is the only miner I'm aware of that you can mine on Windows 11. And... You can also set the overclocks directly in the miner instead of relying on MSI Afterburner or some other program. So I'm going to download this now. Um, this is where I downloaded it. I actually already have it downloaded. 
I'm not going to put you guys through the pain of that. So I'm going to bring my window up here. I do have it downloaded already right here. 2.59 and I am going to extract all. And when I hit extract all, it's going to ask me where I want to put it. This is on my mining desktop folder. So I have a folder that I have added to my Windows exclusions and I'm going to extract it. So here we go. This is the extracted folder. And you can see here I already have an Aeon thing. I'm actually going to copy this Aeon and then I'm going to paste it. And I have a copy of Aeon now and I'm going to rename that uh, Aeon dash Wooly Pooly. WP for Wooly Pooly. Okay. So now I need to come back over to the Wooly Pooly website and I can actually copy this now and what that's going to copy is all of this that it set up for me. So it took my Aeon address, it took the pool that I want to mine to, it took all of that stuff and it puts it in the command line already for me or in the script for the bat file. So now if I come back over here to Gminer and I go to my Aeon.w or dash WP that I made, I'm going to right click and go edit. It's going to ask me are you sure? Yes, I would like to run this anyways. It pops up my window right here. And let me zoom out a little bit so we can read this. Okay. So this is what's in that file. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to erase it. I'm going to paste what I copied from Wooly Pooly. Okay. And then I'm going to save this. And I'm going to double click it and make sure it works. And here it is. So it is working. I'm going to wait until I get one accepted share just to make sure that I'm communicating and that everything's working. And then we will go over the overclocks. But, spoiler alert, the overclocks are very, very, very similar to the T-Rex overclocks. It is almost identical. In fact, I think it is identical, but don't quote me on that. So, um... We have a share accepted, two shares accepted. There we go. I'm going to close this. We're getting 187 souls a second. And close that. So now I'm going to open this README file. We're going to zoom out a bit. And I'll bring it over so you guys can see it a little better. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Let's see. There we go. Okay, this notepad. So here's my minor options right here, and if I scroll down, I'll start finding things like the locking core clock. So I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to copy it. And now we're going to go back and we're going to open my minor, my Aeon Wooly Pooly Miner again. And we're going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm zooming out by holding control and hitting the minus sign or plus sign to zoom in. So. The next thing I'm doing, uh, I'm going to hold control and hit V, and we're going to paste that in there. And then I know that my core clock on this card is about 1500. So we're going to set that at 1500. Um, I did find my settings. Panda has a Google spreadsheet. So he's got a Google spreadsheet right here, and he actually has Aeon. So I'll leave a link to this down below the video. But right here I found the Aeon settings in G minor. He was actually doing it in G minor. And it's 64 power limit, 100 core, 1000 memory. So the 100 core, I found an afterburner. Again right here, you can see my GPU is actually running at 1500 megahertz right now. So I found it right here and I did that by adjusting my tuning and adjusting my tuning when I was mining and figuring out my um, GPU frequency or core clock and then I type that number in to clock it to what I wanted it to stay at. So when I did this it was bouncing around between about 400 and 1480 and 1520. So I found a good middle ground of 1500, I tested it, it worked out. So that is where I got this number right here. The other numbers that we're going to clock with, it is just exactly what you see here. 64 power limit and a thousand on the memory. So let's go ahead and get on to that part of it. I have my core clock set. I am now going to go back to my readme file and we're going to look for memory clock right here. So we're going to 
copy that memory clock right there. We're going to come back here and we're going to hit control V again and we're going to go plus 1000. And then the next thing I need to control is my power limit. So I see right here power limit. So you can see it says range from 0 to 100 for NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, it also says AMD GPUs right here, which is something interesting I'll be trying later. Uh, for now, though, let's continue on. So my... Oh, I did not copy it. You see how I put memory clock again? So I need to go back into my readme, and I need to copy that. And then come back into Aeon and Control v power limit. And we're going to put 64 like I found in pa uh, Red Panda's um, sheet. And then we're going to come back to the readme again. And the last thing I need to set is my fan speed. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can set a constant fan speed like I'm about to show you. Or you could set your fans by temperature fan. So T fan. So it's listed minimal fan speed um, based on temperatures and stuff like that. So that's something different. You'll need to figure that out for yourself. Today I'm just going to set up the fan speed. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. Alright. And now I'm going to save this. And we're going to run it. So let's get back into this. I don't need this anymore. If I double click on that. And you see this red lettering right here? I need to run it as an administrator to apply the memory clock. So let's close this and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to right click. This is the minor application right here. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to copy this file destination right here. Copy. And then we're going to come back into here and I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to bring this over into your screen. And right here, my cursor is at the very beginning. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to hit. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to add that backslash right there. And then we will add the quotes around this. There we go. And then we'll close that. Again, double click it. And it's still not running as an administrator. Now I can right click it and run as an administrator. Sorry. And let me show you the difference. So if I right clicked it, if I right click it and run it, it pops up and it starts running, right? Now if I go back and I remove that real quick, so it was right here. If I remove all of that and I just leave it as minor. And I close it, and I double click it, it'll run with the red letters, and if I right click it, it just pops up for a second and disappears. So that's where I need to add that file path, so that it will run as an administrator and it won't crash immediately. So we're going to put those parentheses back in there, and now I can close that. And I can right click and run as an administrator. And there we go. So now it's going to auto tune. It's going to set the memory clock. It's going to set the core clock. I can hear the fan ramping up by itself right now. And we're getting shares accepted. So the power limit's changed to 64. The fan speed's changed to 75. We've locked the core clock point to 1500 megahertz. And the memory, off memory clock offset changed plus 1000. So we are already getting sh accepted shares and we're good to go. Um, I am getting a little bit less hash rate right now than what Panda was getting. Now, granted, Panda's I think was a couple months ago too. So that may be a difference and of course Silicon Lottery and a lot of other things. But that is how you overclock in G minor and how you mine Aeon. So um, I hope to see a bunch of you guys at the poker tournament coming up this Saturday. I am in... Um, already signed up I'm ready to go I got my poker face on yeah you get it my poker face <laughs> all right anyways guys thank you very much for tuning in 
Like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. I appreciate you all, and I hope to see you on the next one. Have a good one.